guys, what I want to do here really quick is uh, just give a quick little demo of my pedal board and some of my gear. It's for uh, those of you out there who just want to know what type of crap I'm using on my board now. So let's take a look. Alright, this here, pretty self-explanatory, Boss TU2 tuner. I usually keep it on and keep it in the bypass mode simply because I like to know like when I'm playing if a note sounds sharp or flat or something like that I can look down and see if it's out of tune or uh... then next we have the uh... Boss Metalcore honestly not a huge fan of this pedal on its own but I do something different with it. I don't use it on its own at all actually what I actually do is I use this here which is the Boss Super Overdrive and I run the metal core behind it and it gives it kind of like a fuzz type tones that I use a little bit it's pretty cool in the right spots and then uh... next I have Ibanez Tube Screamer which I'm running in the TS... what is it? TS9 mode I keep that pretty low that's just really a boost for this one back here when I have this one on so alright up next is a uh... used I think you say, pronounce it Bespeco, probably saying that wrong, but just a uh, cheap little volume pedal I picked up. Not the smoothest one in the world, but I only use the volume pedal for little swells here and there, so it's not a big deal. And next is the uh, Mod Tone Harmonic Tremor. Love this pedal, it's pretty much a clone of the Boss. I got it for around 60 bucks, which is pretty good, considering the Boss one's between 90 and 100. And that goes right from that into the... Um, Digital Delay DD7. I love this thing. I have the uh, tap tempo for it. I use it all the time, mainly for 16th notes and dotted eighths and everything. Just really fun. And I have the Rocktron Hush Noise Suppressor. Got it used pretty cheap, so it does a fairly good job at canceling out a lot of the noise. Like it's not perfect, but for 40 bucks, it does a fairly good job. Like let's see. If I crank the drive up on this one, I can run these two pedals, and without this, I'm turn that to hot. You can really hear a lot of buzz coming through the amp there. Kick this on, cancels out a lot of it, so that's pretty good. But I normally don't run these two together too much, only sometimes, and if I do, I normally keep the drive on this one pretty low, especially if I'm going to be running this one to it too. So, and this here is the, uh, it's so actually my old Marshall foot switch, and I use it just for the reverb and tremolo for the new box. I don't use it too often at all. The reverb I might throw in there every once in a while, just have fun with it, but the tremolo I rarely use, simply because when I'm playing live a lot, I need to be able to adjust the tempo of the tremolo itself and everything to be able to get to adjust it. And it's just too much of a hassle to go to the back of the stage in order to adjust it, but fairly good sounding tremolo. But I mostly use this one. See, I'm running everything off of a visual sound one spot. I think it powers, what, eight or nine pedals? I got a few spots left over. Looking to upgrade this soon. Um, probably going to get a full tone OCD soon. And if I do that, I'll take these two off the board. And I'll use my full tone OCD as my main um, distortion pedal and use this as a boost then. And then eventually getting a uh, drop tune pedal to go down the drop scene and everything like that. Cause that's always fun. And then uh, the amps. Right now I'm just running through the AC30. Uh, this is the new one. I think it's the C2X. But as you can see, what I actually do is I crank the normal channel and the um, other channel. I crank the volume all the way up to get it to get into self overdrive a little bit easier. And I just keep this up really low my tone settings on there and I'm actually bridging the channel so it's like I'm playing through all three of these inputs just gives it like a little bit bassier of a tone when I plug in through the normal channel because the uh, other channel can get pretty pretty trembly on its own and let's have the lights around there for fun the Marshall is actually my old amp what I eventually want to do is get a uh, ABY switch this way I can set like two different tones and depending on the song or the part in the song I can go back and forth between one and the other or run them both or loop like have them on different sides of the stage and loop one thing through one amp then loop the other through the other amp and have like that whole stereo thing so I can do some pretty cool things with that but not doing that yet and then let's see 
My main guitars that I'm using most of the time, or actually almost all the time, is the 69 Telecaster Thinline, which I keep in standard tuning. And then the 72 Telecaster Deluxe with the dual humbuckers, which I keep in drop D. I'm just going to run through a couple sounds that I can get out of this rig. First with the um, Thinline Tele in E, and then with the Telecaster Deluxe in drop D. So I'll just do that really quick. Alright, what I want to do now is just kind of get some uh, some basic sounds I use for different things. Um, right now I'm playing the 69 Tele Thin Line, which is the one in standard. This is straight through the amp, no effects or anything, so it's got like a little bit of self overdrive in there. And this I usually keep rather low for it. This is a nice little boost. Some delay in there. Some hill song type stuff. Kick this on, you can see. It's a little bit louder and a little bit uh, more distorted, so that sounds pretty cool. definition to the chords. So I kind of add some stuff to it, like uh Two Telecaster Deluxe with the dual humbuckers. Uh, this is my clean tone here. So it's a little bit muddier. Two humbuckers go a little bit muddier. I'm playing the um, bridge position on it. On the super overdrive, I turn the drive all the way up for this. Uh, turn the tone a little bit treblier. So it's like some. and hardcore style stuff. You can find pretty cheap through Craigslist or stuff like that. If you have any questions, just uh, message me. I'll try to answer them the best I can. But uh, all right, see you guys later.